Happy Go! Breaking news. Welcome to today's headline. Buhari must name terrorism financials. Twitter will be revealed. Buhari must name terrorism financials. Twitter will be revealed. So my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. He wrote, I am struck and intrigued by the news report linking highly placed Nigerians to oil debts. Same has been the case with financing insurgency and Boko Haram. When will federal government of Nigeria summon the political will to publicly name such persons? Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi has challenged the federal government to publicly name terrorism financials and relatives across the country. He said the call had become imperative to ensure there were no secret cows in the fight against terrorism, anti-corruption and economic sabotage across the country. The former Anambra State Governor made the call on his Twitter page on Wednesday adding that it was important for the apex government to rise to the occasion. The Punch reports that the federal government says the Nigerian Financial Intelligence Unit uncovered 96 financials of terrorism, as well as the 424 associates and supporters of the financials. Announcing the development, the Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, on February 30, 2022, while reeling out the administration's achievement, said the fraud unit unmarked 123 companies and 33 bureau the change operators linked with terrorism in the country. However, Mohammed did not give the names of the sponsors and companies linked with terrorism. He said, for its part, the analysis by the Nigerian Financial Intelligence Unit in 2022 to 2021 reviewed 96 financials of terrorism in Nigeria, 424 associate supporters of the financials involvement of about 123 companies and 33 bureaucracy the change. In addition to identifying 26 suspected bandits, kidnappers and seven co-conspirators, the analysis has resulted in the arrest of 45 suspects who will soon face prosecution and seizure of assets. Muhammad added that from the NFIU's analysis of tax invasion and tax avoidance linked to corruption, the agency identified, te- identified three point. 0 trillion naira in VAT and 3.7 trillion naira in withholding tax due to the government. The NFIU also sent 1,165 intelligence reports 
on cases of corruption, money laundering and other serious offenses to 27 domestic agencies for investigation prosecution and asset recovery, the minister said. He revealed that on terrorism financing, the NFIU had intelligence exchanges on Boko Haram, ISWAP, banditry, kidnapping and others with 19 countries. During the same period, 2020 to 2021, the organization returned fraudulently, obtained funds total in US $103.7 million, 3,000 pounds sterling, 7,695 Singapore dollar, and 1,091 euros to 11 countries of victims who came into the country, Mohammed had said. But commenting on the menace of oil theft and terrorism, financing in Nigeria, on Wednesday, the Labour Party presidential candidate said it was important for the president, Major General Muhammad Buhari retired, regime to publicly name those behind the menace. He wrote, I am struck and intrigued by the news report linking highly placed Nigerians to oil theft. Same has been the case with financing insurgency and Boko Haram. When will federal government of Nigeria summon the political will to publicly name such persons? In the national interest, there should be no scared cows. Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Lobi has challenged the federal government to publicly name terrorism financials and oil theft across the country. He said the call had become imperative to ensure there was no secret cows in the fight against terrorism anti corruption and economic sabotage across the country. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view 